Hello guys, in this tutorial I will be showing you how you can use the React Carousel in your own projects. So it looks like this. You can use the dots to move around, you can move it with the arrows. And also it's responsive completely by itself, so if we resize it goes back to 3 cards, 2 cards and 1 card. So it's pretty responsive as well. And we are gonna be using this package called React Elastic Carousel. So if you go to this page, this is the line you guys need to install and pam install dash dash save react elastic carousel. But in my case, again, I'm just gonna add it here as dependency, so search for that. So once you install that, the other thing uh, you're gonna need to do is to install style components. Even though you might not be using them in this project, it's a dependency to this particular thing. So you'll need to have style components. So we're gonna search for that as well. If you don't know how to get that, I'll show you the link. So you would go to style-components.com and you, you just install this. You don't need to import anything if you're not using it. It just has to be installed. So going back to their website, this is how we import it. So we can copy this. Let's close this and import that right here. So in our example, we're just gonna make a simple card that we can import here multiple times. So just a normal card, it looks like this. And I'm gonna make a prop here that's gonna be called, let's say, number. And let's destructure it here. Let me close that, so if we go back to app, we're gonna import that as well. And I'll go to styles.css, just to add some a bit of styles on the card so we can see it. And we also want to center the number. So now, we, what we need to do is get this carousel we just imported. We're gonna add it here, and then it has the closing tag as well. And inside of that, we're gonna add the items we have, in our case, card. So right now, we only have one card, as you can see here. And we also made a prop here, which is called number. So we're gonna have, let's say, eight cards here. So, so I'm gonna paste this seven more times. Should be eight. And then we're gonna copy this number here. We're gonna add it to each of the cards. And then I'll just add a different number so you can see them. So. So it looks something like this right now, it's only displaying one. <laughs> and the next thing we need to do is we are gonna add breakpoints here. So we're gonna make a variable with breakpoints where we wanna show, maybe we wanna show one card on mobile, two cards on bigger screens, then three cards, four, and so on. So we're gonna do that here. So we're gonna make a variable called breakpoints is going to be an array of objects and inside of that we need to select the width first so for example if I set this to if we set this to 500 and we add a comma here and then the second parameter is items to show 
and let's say we set this to 1. So now every time we are on 500 width or larger, it's going to display one of them. And then we can add more things. So I'm going to copy this few more times here. So for, for example, Okay, we don't need that. So for example here, let's add 7, 6, 8 and then items to show let's say 2 and then here we can do let's say 1200 items to show I don't know maybe 3 we can do 1500 for example items to show 4 and then for if we save that we're gonna add that to this carousel here so it's gonna be breakpoint equals and then curly braces breakpoints so now if we resize that you're gonna see it goes i need to open this in another project or folder file so you can see it so it goes from four back to three two one but then maybe we don't want to have this this is too much stretched so instead of adding 500 to the first one i want to set this to one so this is going to start from one pixel and until it hits the next breakpoint, it's going to show only one of them. So instead maybe do 500 here, 7, 6, 8, and 1200. So now it's going to be showing only one until we hit 500 pixels. Then once we hit 500, it's going to be showing two as we set here. Then once it hits 7, 6, 8, which is going to be pretty soon, it's going to display 3. And then later on, when it hits 1200, it's going to show 4. Let me open this again. So yeah, it goes from 4 to 3 to 2 to 1. And then you can change it here. Or you can use these. So once you resize as well, since it becomes smaller, it's going to add more dots. We're going to be able to see everything. And also, if you inspect this, this is you can target any of these in CSS. For example, this. So this has a class of rack arrow left, so you can target that in CSS and remove it if you don't want it there. You can change the background, the color. Same goes with this. So you can customize this whatever you like. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.